pre-Jersey bear. I realize that makes no sense to half the people I'm Look, guys. Talking in a different language. We played matchmaking with the other day, so I'm basically, we're on first name basis. I'm basically his best friend now. Jerry's uncle. Yeah. In Europe. Yeah. There we go. I know what he sounds like. I've got his IP. And there it is. I'm only joking. I don't have his IP. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got a HG. Oh, we the have odds are very close. Diffuse and yeah, okay. This is, wait, hold this. up. There is four, four unarmored right tees now. and some jewelies. This what? is insane. Big this clan. is uh, okay. gobby has got a smile on his face. I don't think I've seen four players on the tee side buying utility before. No, so dude, this is going to be see. some smoke and mirrors, right? So check it out. Three smokes on a pistol. If you see a smoke and two flashbangs, you are rotating. But how do they sell it? Not yard smoke, surely. Well, they want to try and force a rotation. They've got Centaurus on red already. He's yeah. doing yard smoke. Centaurus can. He's the only one with armor here, so he's going to have to to get a lot of space and hopefully it's give them a keen. kill. I mean, on a pistol, seeing two smokes yard, you have to assume there's going to be action, right? Especially late like this. So they were waiting for pushes. Now there's sound indication with those smokes. Space is taken, so it's a lot of information here. The rotation hasn't been drawn just yet. Interesting. And they're setting up for the top hit. So Zentaros could pop up the vent, but they haven't actually rotated at all. They've got three ramp, dude. No one's moved. they got three CTs ramp. That rotate. If Zentaros does it, like swing open a decon door. Something that could be convincing is he's just going to come up the vent. Perfect timing to punish config if he swings. There's so many nades here. I th with 45 seconds left, they still have a Molotov, four flashes, a smoke. Here we go. Nade the door, smoke main, flashes, config clicks. Finding one, two, finally knocked. Keto dropping with the bomb, actually rent rotating down ramp. This is great from Cole. They're in the right place. They've even got a kit. That's a very important frag from Zentares, and Keto's caught another. Suddenly, JKS is gone and rush two. Added to the list by Zentares. Suddenly, a 3v1 emerges. Big have pivoted perfectly. And Tabson oh. meets Blame. Damn, first bullet from his USP, and it's a clean headshot. It's a ramp. He needs to get a move on here. He's heading that way. Trying to fake the push. Keto's about to find an elevated position. This would be a very hard adjustment for Blame to hit, but I wouldn't write him out. Spots him, adjusting hard shots, but he's found the head. He's got 17 points of health. The kit's up there with Zentaris. He's wasted his nade. Pushing fast. He'd, he'd have to hit the one bang. Zentaris is tucked in. Go on, Blame. He, he could. Oh, the oh it's, it's so close. close. Too close, too close, too close. He hasn't got it. Oh, I thought he was going to peg it behind the bomb. Well played, Zentares. That's his round. He was the one that found that crucial ramp frag that gave Keto room to maneuver. Yeah, that was very, very interesting stuff there. Once again, four sets of utility on the T side. You might be sitting here going, yeah, okay, what about that? It's just very unusual to see that purchase whatsoever. And Zentara is the only man with armor here getting three big frags to close out the round in style. And that's the start big need. Uh, we really need to keep our eyes on the T side of Big here to see if they have adjusted whatsoever from their other the game the other day versus NIP. It was their map choice and they were beaten handedly. It was through lobby pushes, it was through aggression, exploiting Tizian. It's gonna be one of the key storylines for the early stages here. Will it be Big operating as per usual or changing Look things up? Look how fast Keto has got some lower control. He can go anywhere he desires. Justin JK, sorry, we won't call him Stop Justin. Call JKS him. has dropped towards the lower bomb site, so he's know your dealt friends with that with rotation. Him. Hang on, Config actually could catch a tire. Zentaris is going right at him, and that will be a clean AK headshot. One single Kalashnikov in play, and it's already drawn blood. Blame's got a plateful here on Yard. They are coming in. Poison, that's a nice very shot. important shot just over the top of the box. Big frag. They want to hit top site. Blames pushed back into credit card. Takes it, swipes it. Rush needs another. Catches Sis, and they could turn this second round around. Poison, you got any more? JKS is working on a flank. Oh. That's an important one from Tizin. JKS Double already. Flash. The smoke from Zentaris will lock Blame out. He has a smoke of his own. A Molotov too. JKS coming in from Squeak. There's a potential for a flank here from Zentaris. Does he keep pushing? I think he will. Ring around the rosy. It's perfect from Centaurus. Again, sealing the second round as it did get very sketchy for a moment there. There's decent damage from Complexity, but they've had a shot at winning that one. Maybe over peaking from Heaven. Poison goes down. Well handled by Big here. It, very stressful. The comms at that point get a bit spotty, a bit chaotic, and then Centaurus just in the back line with another three piece. So in back to back rounds, Centaurus has con contributed with two three Ks. You don't want to see that out of blame early. He needs yeah. to keep his cool. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure the mic was muted. We know the uh, the shocksy treatment. Just make sure you just whip it up as fast as you can, and then because no one else can hear you. Rage away. All right, Searson is getting uh, an ambitious dunk on towards config, but he does it manage to get away from that so far. Just a bit of yard control, smokes as well. Conditioning continues.
Yeah, this should be a relatively clean round. Not too many dramas here. Only that deagle in Blame's hands. Right now, he's just been smoked off towards main. So there's not even a duel that Blame could find at this juncture. It's just these USPs. They've rotated a player towards lower. It is config down there. The walking wounded. Six HP for him. Not long for this world was JKS. A nice shot from Tizian. And they've swarmed the lower bomb site. So shouldn't be too long. Config, how are you still able to move around here? You naughty boy dropped on in on and all the frags fall. Clean. So that's very, very needed from Big after the way the last anti-eco went. Keeping all five alive means they can start to build on that bank. Get that AWP in their hands of old boy Sirison early. Now this is where we want to keep our eyes. If Tizian goes towards Squeaky and he plays his standard default, then this is where complexity can look to punish in the same way that NIP did. However, if it's a different look, if Lobby's bolstered, if they go for something maybe more aggressive or ramp heavy, complexity could be walking into a trap. And this is when you watch the demos and you try and do your prep work where it can come back and bite you. They can do something completely different. So you need to have contingencies in place for all of these options. Standard containment utility towards Hut and Squeaky. No top rushes coming out early. Smoke towards Yard there, they're gonna land and that is forced to fight. Tizian with a chunk of damage to Config. Low yeah. again. Here we go, Tabson trying to take space in Yard. There is a gap for Poison and he's no slouch. Oh, oh, to get across. I think the smoke just using his cross. There is a chance for a double and Blame has come up Trump. That's a big double frag, both of the outside smoke descendants. Now gone. Jakey has yet to frag. He is to be tested here on ramp. Has poison in support though. So Tizian's fake may draw a rotate. Jakey of course, responsible for ramp room. Tizian trying to sell a top fake. Blame working well towards vents to respond. Bomb could be on its way. They've actually turned around. This is a tilt round complexity. You have two players who are quite low here. If they drop this one, it's a big round to lose. Oh, they can't afford to. I like the angle Rush is working with, but there is a chance for an exploit here. If they pop, yeah, Tizian could swing. You can see how this could all tumble down. Big frag from Rush trying to reposition, evade the shots. It's Zantara's good damage, bringing him down. The Star Rifle to six. They are descending into blame, though. And this is the quad. Not today. Sirson is here to play. Maybe he's he could show us exactly what he's made of. He is going to be able to get the bomb down. JKS cannot contest. Molotov forces his left eye peak. Or oh, does it? He peeks through the flames, and that's the end of Sirson. All right, JKS wins it through the flames, but he gets the bomb down. I'm sure that was, as Chad highlighted, the priority considering the bank they've been nurturing and not maintaining his AWP, but getting that bomb down is a close second. Teams have gotten very, very good this year at constantly playing in transition between that vent. That's why you will see Squeaky prioritized a lot in the mid to late rounds. If you found too much resistance on the top side, drop vent, give yourself another angle. The other bomb side is just a few steps away. And so many fakes are possible through that. Simple as you like, Molotov on the bomb spot, Sirison keeping it down, and the buy will come through off the back of this. It's probably a nicer way to go with to the flames as opposed to getting a frag, but by standing in them, it's a little bit more counterintuitive. Maybe he could get a cheeky kill, do a bit more financial damage, not to be the case. Three stay alive, guns dropped across, and complexity are looking good going into round number five. It's so uh, big, the AWP is back out, the AKs as well. And this is the first real gun round of the game. <clears throat> Blame's going to have a lot of work to do today. And Config's low again. Very early stages. Oh, Once bang. more, three rounds in a row, Config has been operating with 10 HP or less after the first 15 seconds. Tizian loves him as Alpha. Lobby default. I told you that weird fun fact that I've been watching his POV demo. Behind that uh, red box. That's time it. Time again. Every time, dude. He's got the nades. He's got the wall bangs. He is a real threat. JKS flashing for info. This is going to be a lot for Blame, and he's again caused another destabilizing blow. Dropping a one-way. They really cannot trifle with him here. If he jumps into his smoke, and Pico peeks over it. Oh, Blame F hits him with the Glaive one-way. A nade for good measure. He's done. Mission accomplished. That's back-to-back -back double kills on the attempted lower descent. Not done yet. Tara's bomb on his back. This is an important frag. He finds it all the same. Flashing into main once more. Config's low. Two HP. Don't forget, Chad highlighted his own. those wall bangs, and he's just in limbo. Config's going to go down. Surely. What do you expect? He's in vent. He's going to get wall banged. He's over. And this another well. suddenly an equalizing frag. Big have the advantage. This could be another tilt round. 30 seconds as blame thought he'd made enough. They're going to save. Complexity yeah. will always play the percentages on these type of rounds, especially within the early stages. Two-man advantage, and they drop. As as quickly as that, you could see Config isolated on the top side as soon as Rush falls. Poison was trying to rotate in. Sirison already watching that position. And now what? 
There's no way back in. These are two of your clutch players, and neither of them are going to go for an initiating frag to open this one up. AK is just on the ladder, hanging around, seeing if he can get this AWP of poison. That's what he'd be looking for, because they won't be able to afford one in the next round. He will survive here. That might be the last minute scavenge. Could come in clutch. Oh, I don't think he could find it. So dropping on back, holding onto the AK, guaranteed save there. You can see Poison will be able to reinvest in a rifle. Rush can get into the Famous. You could get Blame dropping a gun, but no AWP to combat with. And you bang on, the double kill to start the round, especially in this kind of fashion, they should never be losing one like this. Big did a great job just playing off of each other. Zantara's cracking open main, and then they punish systematically from there. Easy as you like, complexity rotating in very standard positions. Four to one, the scoreline now. We do have a bit of a timeout. Seems that two players from Complexity have left the server. Maybe a quick little reboot. We should be back any moment, but we do always have our man with the plan standing by. Yeah, we've lost one rush. Hello. And we've got another. Yes, I'm down here on the ground. The original. Original. You yeah, don't think the, the guy named Cheetah was cheating last night, Rush? Uh, I don't know. There was that one angle he held on you where he was like scoped up and it, there was a weird spot to hold on the B side of Vertigo. So maybe. But you were popping off last night. Yeah, on dude, that I map. popped last night. Mm. It was a good time. So Your name was in the kill feed so much. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. I was. Popping, uh, clutching. I think it's because I got my new phone, you know, I was just a bit excited, you know, so it translated into the server. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. I, I appreciated hearing about the new phone. You got it all Henry set up now? not such a fan of the new phone. No, Henry was not a fan, but yeah, Alex, it's fully set up now. He doesn't let you have nice things. No, it, it, when Henry hears me like smiling or happy in any kind of way, he just tries to tear me down. No, it's, you because, know? it's because he hasn't got a cool phone and instead of instead <laughs> of like just, you know, being normal and not having a problem with that, he's projecting his insecurities on not having a cool phone on you having a cool phone. And so he's trying to value having a phone in, in general. Maybe I think we you could get right. Henry yeah. a cool phone for Christmas. I mean, we could, but then he'd manage to somehow twist it to being like, you guys are actually the idiots for having cool phones because uh, I only need this 200 euro Zowsy or whatever all it's right. called. It's just an idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Of some... Rush, you got any ideas for Christmas presents for Henry? For Henry? Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, he posted that picture of him in the clown makeup. Maybe we buy, actually buy, buy him, him the vase. makeup. A vase? A vase, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A vase, I just thought some nice glassware. Well, Rush was going for a meme there. Rush, do you have anything serious? Any serious Anything questions? serious for Henry? He likes his little skins in Counter Strike. Maybe we can get little like a skins. little. Uh... You're patronizing it. Rush, you're poking the <laughs> yeah, bear. Well, he does it to me, so I gotta do ah, it back. I see. You know? Yeah, but why don't we try and kill him with kindness? Why don't you try and I love Rush? I don't think that'll work, man. I don't think that'll work. Have you tried work. that approach? Uh, I think I've been nice to him in the past, realized my mistakes. All right, well. A bit of argy bargy between Henry and Rush and a bit of argy bargy in the server because we'll be everyone's back in. A nice one on one hand to hand combat between Rush and Henry. It's true, they do have a fight booked in. They have, yeah. One, uh, summer at the Armaltese residence. <laughs> we'll fly Rush in. As fly Rush in. It'll I'm be sure a Rush match. will stream it all live on the ESL CSGO channel. They've approved it. What's going on with the HUD, Rush? Thank you. What do you mean? It looks good. Yeah, it does now. All right. Well, the investment for complexity, it's actually been stalled out. They could have scrapped together a purchase, but maybe prioritizing all that utility in the AWP. They love them some yard, don't they? These are those yard biffs that really can be quite s strugglesome. I mean, if you lose JKS here on his first look, which is more than likely, considering he's just been molotov and now pushed. Blame F is flat. Oh, oh, he didn't clear it. didn't, and now Blame has a freebie. And that's the only rifle now with JKS, of course, from secret with his. One of them's gone down big. This could be a turning point if complexity can build upon it. Tapson's been quiet. JKS is in an off angle here. How thorough will Zantaras be? Eight frags. If he finds this ninth, they could turn the round around. Nice from Juzzy. Two now for complexity. This is the spin. They only have Deagles though. We've seen them throw away exact, advantages. Exact same number advantage just in the previous round here. So they need to hold on tight complexity. 45 oh, seconds. Oh, well, Blame's peeking straight into a CS at orb here. Bang. Nothing really to be done about that. He did inflict some damage, halving the AWP's health. Functional for the Deagles now. Once a Tamsin and Sears and a couple of shots to the belly button, one might do. Clock's a problem now, 30 seconds. Good for the damage, good stuff from Rush. Takes the AWP out of the equation. Tamsin is above though. This could be the shot. Oh. And complexity are turning it around. This was a no armor Deagle round, surrounded by those saved rifles. And you said they pay the percentages, Chad, while it seems to have paid off. Yeah, Saving can, those two rifles was the right move. They can just turtle up now. There's no need to fight. Tizian, if he wants to hold on to this AK, that's fine. But they'll survive. They get the kill. They even pick up the AWP. So that's a freebie going forward. A nice injection of cash for complexity here, but a bit of a fumble from Big. Just one at a time that they went. There was no trade potential on both of those kills. And the man who bowed them out last time and had a good performance early, Zantara's 
Losing that duel to JKS sealed the round. 006 from Tabson here. We spoke about fragging in game leaders. Keep your eyes on him. When a round needs it, he can get activated. He'll get into the mix. And they're actually going for a full investment here, Big. They've gone all in. It's pistols with full utility armor as well. They can set up a complete set piece here. Misdirection with the smokes towards Yard that they're setting up early. Looking like a standard gun round. So Squeaky blown open the smoke to obscure that vent position. And look at this. Poison looking towards Lobby. He needs to be careful. It's tech nine. He's, uh, he's playing with fire. He still gets the shot off. That's lovely. And that was the lobby holes now tested. They might have to pivot. You can see Searson going to set Centaurus up for a Molotov. <sighs> How many players are on top right now? Just two. And one of them was that Poison Orb. So they could be overrun here. They certainly could. It, Molly's will force the hand. Poison's pulled the trigger, though. Tabson's down. Well handled. Rush is in a prime position. Centaurus, though from Squeaky is a threat. Rush was on the bomber. Now he's getting jiggled out. Oh, Zentaris, you're so Oh my god. Threat. Rush dropping off. How does he make that Tech-9 feel so threatening? Finally, knocked off. Searson again pulling off a vent drop and a plant. He'll take that. We saw him win a clutch from this position just the other day. It was a one on four with an AK. Let's see if he can do a special with the Deagle. It's possible. Oh, yeah, especially considering how low Rush is. One Deagle shot from Searson. He's hunting. He could get a rifle from this. So oh, dear, blame. Swings around, the sound cue was enough to really entice him, and they'll get the defuse all the same rush, just running through the double door side. Yeah, I'm finding it very difficult to rule out Searson in these late rounds. Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter what weapon he has, he is such a threat. This guy with the orb, the scout, it looks fantastic, but what he proved the other day with the AK-47 with the 1v4, the last two kills with the last two bullets, it was some crazy plays as this one was handled. It got messy for a second there. The fact that Big get a plant, mission accomplished. They can now limp into the next round again with a partial investment if they'd like. And there's Toby, the coach. Going to be a stressful day at the office. So you can see they've just invested in some pistols and smokes again. So Big, by having smokes on almost every single one of their rounds here, can continue to build this pattern, the smokes towards secret, the L block, having squeaky blown open from Tizian with the smoke. You never quite know what you're looking at if you're complexity here. But so far, the game plan has looked similar from Big. Lots of yard presence again. Oh, Blame could have a couple here. Seems set for success. Config to uh, catch any slipping the net. Oh, Blame. One. Two. There's more. He knows it. Adjusts nicely. Keto added to his list. It's JKS that takes it from him. So Tizian, maybe going to be a little bit of a element of surprise here. He's managed to sneak his way down. Oh, turning around. Yard distraction. If he's got some precise headshots, we could be on for two. Uno. Oh, and oh. a third Tizian starting to do damage here. Complexity. The nade does land. He's already found himself significant. Rush is vulnerable as well. Was on the warehouse, shots being missed. Now an AK recovered. He doesn't really have the health for this. Bomb loose. Great shots. If he makes noise lower right now, it's going to have to draw poison away. He has to worry about that ramp rotation and the flank. So there's a chance to isolate some 1v1 jewels, but it looks like he's just going slippery up the vent and Rush is ready for this great positioning. There's no way Tizian should get another kill. Handled. And that got messy. That is three kills with the Deagle right there from Tizian to keep this economy low. So it's starting to blow up for complexity. You can see JKS there now at 11K, but they will have to reinvest. So this is from Tizian. Sure, it looks good, but not only does it look good, it's going to hurt complexity's chances in further rounds as long as Big can keep the pressure on here. Now, the game plan is looking the same for Big. We've seen Poison looking towards Lobby, go hunt with that AWP. Let's see if that continues for the CT side gun round of complexity because Big don't look like they're changing too much up in their approach so far. Still very heavy presence towards Yard. That's not changing here. Loves himself some early secret, does blame. Certainly solves a lot of his problems when he's up against Big Clan because this one's working again. Again, they go for Yard using their smokes to actually play main side instead of using red container. It certainly works on tight lines JKS is holding, but do they contact this? This could be a lot if the flash is good. Here they come. He calls it main swing and care. Keto's tagged as well. Blame swings out, catches Tabson, and that is three. Complexity frags, bomb loose as well. Searson's in jeopardy here. JKS just gives it to him. Searson, we said we won't write him out. I'm not willing to just yet. Tizian as well has proved his worth already with the Deagle round. A bomb retrieval would go a long way. Look at Config again. He has had so many rounds in this game so far where he's operating on less than 10 HP. He's vulnerable every single time. And this is where some of those round advantages or man advantages have been thrown away because of Config's early damage inflicted. Oh, Tizian reveals himself. The flash was enough for him to fire off a shot. 
Sirson's looking to join him. Well, they've given up the bomb here, so... Ooh, Config, that's a lot of information. He's got the silo call. With 4 HP, does he really fancy his chances? He's going for it. Knowing Config, he's going for it. He probably gets both here as well. Oh. The timing on this might be perfect. Tizian's picked up the bomb. Ooh, Sirson even had a cursory glance. There's the frag. Config's accomplished some uh, serious... Sneaky beaky business. There is only Tizian and spotted now. Jump spotting by Rush. That's really good. If he gets down the vent, he will meet another. Knife out. Blame finds another. Lower sight is Blames, and he'll grab himself an AK for his trouble. 16 and 6, a solid start from the leader. They're plugging some holes nicely here, and I think that their CT setup is complemented well. JKS had a transitional period in towards the final stages of 100 Thieves, where he was more of that yard link player, along with Gratisfaction on the AWP. So those two were more like a simple and electronic combo in the way that the rifle would push up close, the AWP would oversee. And when Poison wants to go on AWP ramps, then you can see JKS and Blame F as quite the potent combo towards yard. They did a great job of handling that there. It's been like a, a clamp down, like a trap, as soon as the presence of Big was known. And now Blame's playing forward. It's these pistols once again, the smokes continue. This time it's misdirection. All the early information will be in the back pocket of Complexity. They can set up here for a top or a ramp. Blame calls this clear. And so already the news titans, big. So half by, JKS getting paranoid. A flash as the smoke fades. He wants to isolate. What is this? They swing as he does. They've caught him in. Transition, Blame is on a fast flank, but they will descend the low site. Who's there to receive? No one's there currently. Big are gonna get a bomb plan out of this. Config could deny, good chance. That's Centaurus with the recovered rifle, trying to hit the Jiggle Peaks. It's not gonna find anything as the bomb does get planted. This is a big turnaround from Big, and Cole cannot afford to let this one slip. Tabson yet to frag, if he finds anything there, that would have been a huge save. Config does swing in to make the round look a little less threatening. Only Searson's one HP or four to be specific. Fired off a shot, that's the end of that. Config successfully finding two on the uh, retake. But Big Clan on a half by finding JKS just as he swung out. All right, so let's focus on two positions here. The first one is obviously JKS over towards ramp here and then focus on these nades getting thrown top site. I'm gonna pause it. As soon as these nades get thrown, that call will come into top. JKS is gonna start moving off of that info. There's two mollies. There was a molly Boom. here. There was a molly here. There's a smoke main. There's flashes. JKS moves on the call, finds himself in the open and he goes down. So that's how that avenue was created. Oh, that makes so much more sense because we saw JKS swinging out. We didn't have the, uh, the, play the team comms. You can see perfectly in the skybox. Thank you, Chad Burchill. We are into our 11th round. I'm intrigued to know whether or not all of this uh, speed is going to actually hit the site. Looks like Conflict's under threat. Tucking into CT Ben as fast as he can. Rush has handled it, though. What a double delivered. Captain's first kill there. The right. Drawn blood. He wants a second. Oh. He plucks the head off a poison. This suddenly becomes a round. It started with Rush dealing with the top side, but we know Big can pivot nicely. They've done so many times already. JKS tucking into the off angle. This is oh risky business. JKS is pushed in. He could catch assists and spotting the bomb now on Tizian, Huge. and that is a round winner. Tabson would have to ace clutch. The bombs in JKS's hands and configs found that final head just before he disappeared into that smoke. And just once again, for context, the reason JKS looks so shaky there is they've completely lost yard control. He was worried about that ladder flank, didn't want to get caught in limbo, and because of that, almost goes down. So this is just the tiniest detail separating the frags right here. Complexity, they're going to keep their head above water, but every round from Big is threatening. They're looking good, and now that Tapson's online with a couple of kills, start being fearful, because the big man, he might have something to say. Two big shots here, nice damage done. Seven to four now, timeout taken. Big talking through their options. You can see that glance that he had over towards ladder base. He's so worried about that position. And there's Comfy just in the back line. So look, good stuff here. Fan cams, if you want to join those at home, im.gg slash fan cam. Fan cam. Ooh, back to back timeouts, Alex. They wanted you a minute. See those. You don't see those all too often. Okay, well, they do have enough money to buy. Tapson can drop an orb, but maybe Toby just wants to get on the mic to talk them through their approach here. They've still been getting away with these heavy leans towards Yard, but they're being clamped down on. So if they're to pick up that pressure and pace and trade out onto Blame, only letting him get one kill, then they're going to be able to start working with some territory. Yeah, and I do think uh, part and parcel of this double timeout is just to kind of slow complexity down as well. Don't forget, they just won six in a row. Yes, it's big finding themselves in a little bit of a pit of squalor, but Tabson's going for a hero purchase. They likely want to have some more around that. They've got enough for a, 
Oh, it's only going to be Deagle? Can yeah. Oh, this is interesting. That's why they've got the timer. They've they've calculated the numbers. They've got the Abacus out, Chad. They're giving themselves two buy rounds here. So, well, this isn't a full buy. This is like a half buy, right? So we need to think of a better term. Yeah, we definitely do because the way that these gun rounds are starting to, to change and shape up, it, it's this is an okay looking yeah. buy. But the, and these are buys that some teams don't do and get punished for. Now, here is Blame F. Previously been very punishing on this yard position in config. Sprays to bait them in, he even hits the headshot. Tizian trying to hunt on the reload. Maybe Blame can catch him. Oh dear, perfect. Tizian's got him. Blame can't stop him. Smokes arrives in main. Rush could go down as well. Does bait out the shots. Now Molly's will land. Rush could nade him down, but it's not enough. Rush has got a lot to do here. An important frag, Keto's gone. Searson left alone, he was unarmored. He wants the AWP, so this one has gone, but a whimper. And an AK and a Galil do go awry. Yeah, you get uh, blame. They're not even worrying about that main push. He was automatically on the flank. JKS left ramp. They're more than happy to give up a lot of territory here, Complexity, when things don't go right. But now you can see what Big are getting away with. So uh, the partial investments, everybody knew exactly how much they could invest so they can get the full gun round. We've got all the utility we need. Smokes, flashes, Molotovs, HEs, AKs are out, AWP again. So this is a chance for Big to keep that pressure on. But the economy has built for Complexity here. They're good for a few more rounds, and that's all we have left within this half. Eight to four. And blame again, lots of pressure. Up close behind the smoke, Poison overseeing this little adventure. Blame, I mean, it's certainly predictable where he's gonna be, right? Keep bringing this up. Oh, clearly not predictable enough. Oh. Blame lines oh. up. Stabilizes the spray. The element of surprise is primal weapon. 19 kills, and most of those have been like double kills to kick off rounds. Big Clan cannot get to Yard when Blame's having a game like this. I think that's going to close him in on 20. He's on 19. Poison pulls the trigger on his sixth. And as the AWP's the first that fires, he can just count on JKS to swing in in the perfect unison. Searson doesn't miss those. Is he ready for Poison's jump? He can't adjust in time. Damn. Poison things a bit of flair as he goes hunting for some extra nades. That's nine for Cole's DC CT side. 19 kills for Blame. The next close on his team is 10, and that's Config, the man who's been. And I've previously, himself. when I talk about nuke Blame, I'm thinking about his T side yeah. lurking yard, not his CT holds. Now it's their T side that I think has become more and more predictable because yeah. of that type of a lurk from Blame, right? So once we get to that T side, it's going to be curious to see what complexity have done here to identify what's been going wrong with their T halves and what they can exploit in bigs. And big again in the second last round of the first half are down to these pistols with utility. It's been that 3,400 time and time again. Down the vent, Tizian wants to go the Molotov and smoke combo. It didn't completely shroud his descent, and they know they've lost this position a few times. So let's see how they handle it. JKS towards the lower site. Footsteps may be heard there as they're straight oh, out ramp. Wow. They found the gap. Yeah, they have. JKS is going to have a lot to handle here. Oh, and Zantaras is out of a great deagle shot. Maybe they can get this bomb down. The retakes have been strong, though, and Config swinging open the doors. Does manage to at least isolate a couple. Ooh, bad spray. Tabs in great deeg. Now into a 3v3. If he can just get a bit of a hidey hole, a bit of space, an M4 with 19 bullets in it, a one deeg from Tizian makes this realistic. And he's found it. Another gun as well. His poison hits a crucial shot. Tabs him down. A smoke deployed. A Molotov as well. Clears dark. Searson's going to have to disrespect the smoke. If he gets the timing, poison could be vulnerable. A fake. He's going to push on this. And they're not checking it. Good fragging. Searson wins them the round. Big, great take. Against all odds, getting to the lower site. It was down to Tizian's one dig there. Just the pistols. That is some big stuff. The two... The timing from Searson as well. The, the fact that they're able to mitigate the CTs there with just one-for-one -one trades gave them a chance to be worms in the back line there and pick up a big fifth round. The orgs are coming out now. Blame and Rush both investing in those. I'm sure JKS has a gun on the floor. Gets himself an M4 or for poison. Both teams going into the final round of play here in the first half with everything they need. All the goodies. Looks like a similar approach. Blame this time tucked into what warehouse. It's a matter of where's Waldo with Blame. Yeah, but I still would be paranoid walking yard in the way that Thompson is. Yeah, it's a, a difficult one to clear. And now JKS up through secret. It's going to pounce on them again. So who's filled the gap main uh, ramp? They've sent poison there. Okay, I like it. Config wants to keep the pressure on. And oh, they go on the flash. They smoked the molly. It was a cool combo, but Tabson's dealt with it. A crucial frag. And now Colin are back to foot for this final round. They all descend just as the smoke starts to fade. Poison's the only one who can rotate lower right now. That would leave a gap ramp. And it's being taken by 
what seems to be config. So he'll fill that gap. This is going to get really sketchy on the top side. Zantara is purling. They're going to boost for the peak stairs. Rush. He could solve a lot of their problems if he was to shut down lobby, call it clear. It's a risk. And he takes it. That's huge. Nothing else spotted lobby. Now they start to pivot and Blame's position suddenly holds value. He's going to get one. Keto's going to bring the bomb into his line of sight. A crucial duel won by the German. Three on three. 30 seconds. They can go either side. Poison needs the info. He's searching. And Keto could be the target. Poison doesn't miss. That's bomb loose. They want to punish. Centaurus swinging out. Retrieves it safe. As House is going to be top site. Rush to be tested. Searson looking for some close quarters. Orb action. And he's knocked Rush on his ass. Dinked by the M4. Config misses his off the ladder. Suddenly, Poison's the one asked to clutch. He's got a very good chance here. They plant on his side, trying to punish with a quick swing. Oh. But Searson's there. Another big round convert connected and converted by Searson. Nine to six, we'll take that. Nuke, heating up. First half of the series, first of the day. We'll be back to bring it more. Intel Extreme Masters continues on. We're on Nuke, Big Clan, doing what they can up against none other than the Complexity roster. The roster that many have got touted to do damage into the next year. Big Clan, of course, capable. We've seen their rise to power, floating around the top 10, even holding the number one spot. They're looking to prove their worth and do what they've done the last three head-to-heads. Complexity have fallen to this very squad, this very clan, in three best of three series one of which was with the new JKS integration, but more integration has certainly taken place. Complexity have started strong, nine. 
coming into their T side. This, however, is where Chad has some fears. Previously been exploited, predictable. See if the T side looks different. Tabson's hit a good shot config, clawing them back in with some Whoa. great shooting. JKS has won a double duel on ramp. They've just single-handedly won their duels yard and ramp. That's, I guess that's one way to win a round. Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. It's the five headshot strategy. You'd uh -huh. love to see that one coming out to play, but that was over quick as you like there. Got config POV on that. He really did not deserve more than one. It looked like Tabson had his number for a moment. Jeez, that was all very quick. This is JKS Juzzy. dealing with the ramp push. And then there's a second. He was actually on burst for that, or am I just tripping? I think it could have just been one Glock bullet to the head there. Lovely. So, yeah, they're big kills to make because what you could see happening was they were searching for information towards Yard. If, if you have complexity cross towards Warehouse or go across towards Secret, they want to take Lobby back, call that clear before they rotate. And now they're going to force by back in. Big have Sirius and on that signature scout. Deagles for the others, and Smokes are going to work wonders here as Flames already found himself a 20 frag game. He's going to be integral towards Yard. So if he can be silenced by the likes of the Tabs and Sirison combo, that's going to cause trouble for complexity. Setting their patterns early, done the secret smokes. That's forced out the rotation. But back over towards Lobby is where the lion's share of the complexity players stand. More utility used towards Yard. And a deep smoke towards ramp. That's going to hold them until one minute. So just pausing at this juncture means if Big starts searching for information, if they call lower clear, nobody's in Yard. Secret hasn't been taken. They can turn their eyes back towards ramp, back towards hut. But right now, there's nobody home. So Sirson threw that smoke and went yard. This, if it's just a contact play, it's going to get them a lot. Sirson's starting to fill the gap now. He's going to get a lot Swinging of info. Swinging into this. Yeah, he says ramp. There's someone. Don't have numbers yet, but the steps, the Molotovs, is very indicative of a ramp push. All of complexity gather there. Zantares is on lower. He's been there a long time. Blaine clearing heaven, and looks like Tabson's already been found out. Poison finding one. Zantares is the unchecked eagle. Needs a clean one here. That's AKV Deagle. Config's got his number, but Zantares has taken the shot. Converted by Rush. Poison. Holding that door angle, and Pito was so ready for it. JKS does put him down. It's costly. They've taken away some big guns here. Should be picked up, and Sirison and Tizian will do their best just to hold on to what they have. Blaine wants to get hunting just with the MAC-10 tagged up now. Need to really consider how far forward they want to go with this. They found that other AK. Complexity are able to right the ship here. A couple of kills extra. Doesn't go too astray with the bank balance, but they don't need it. These AKs will look a lot better in the next round of play and big well. I have a couple of questions to ask themselves here. How do they want to use this scout? How do they want to use the deal? Because seriously, if he can find room, he can have a lot of impact, but they can just go for those same secret smokes again and he's completely negated from this round. So that's the main weapon you want to avoid going into round number 18. The Mac 10s that they had left over can find a lot of space as well for complexity. Oh, they're only operating with one MAC-10 here, so four AK-47s. If Big are able to get a handful of kills just like they did there, they've actually upgraded another Deagle into Keto. There's a P250 for Zantares, a couple of HEs as well. Not out of the woods just yet, Complexity. Sirison is absolutely deadly on this weapon. You can just see, as soon as those smokes land, yeah, a right. lot starts to come into question here. I'm nullified. I can't hold it. Kizian wants to check close main, and he does manage to call it clear. Blaine was tucked in towards the cubby. And as the smoke fades, Tizzy tucks in. This is a bit of a chess match about to start unraveling as Big Clan do stop to put weapons in their hands. It won't be this round, I imagine. This should just be the formality converted by complexity. Not to write out the Deagles and Scout, though. Searson's having a look. There you and go. That's the damage. This is where things get awkward if he keeps hitting shots like that. Deagles hold a whole lot more value. Poison's gone. Perfect, and he was trying to cross Ooh, they're back. Taking they're room taking room off of the this. There's an AK here. This feels punishing, especially Tizian drawing their attention. Here comes Keto. The AK's there. Bombs loose. Cole cannot afford to let this round slip. Blame's going to have to bail them out. JKS under so much scrutiny. Oh, the head has just gone missing for Blame. He's probably hearing some steps yeah. here. Yeah, but I don't know. If he gets the ramp flank, maybe he can have a real punish here. JKS has one job, and that's to live. Big frag. Now the AK's in Blame's hands. He's got armor and he wants the low side. They don't have the bomb. JKS is doing his very best. Oh God, it's so awkward for JKS. What's he supposed to do? He's gonna let, get, let Lobby be cleared. <gasps> Good stuff. Okay, they're turning this around. Big push. Blame's dealt with it. They need to pivot fast. And Taras actually grabs it. It's gonna be lower. He's gonna he be already there. there. He was by the vents. Dropping now. He has a weapon. They're low. Centaurus has a chance. A very small one, but it's very realistic now as he finds... Oh my it's God. Big. 
Blame F turns the 2v4 around, partnered up with JKS, the patience and the belief in one another. Whew. If you ever played a matchmaking or a pug or anything like that and your teammate says just live, that's sometimes the hardest thing to do. And you could see just how much pressure JKS was under. Those players all swarming around lobby. He was just stuck in towards squeaky room and Blame having to do all the work here. But like, yeah, 23. you know, I was my <laughs> stupid peanut brain looked at JKS and I was like, okay, so he's got the bomb now. So surely he has to be going vents. He has to go yeah. vents. Of course, that would have been a door and a death. He just sat still, Blame keeping his teammates still, and it pays off huge, huge plays. Config fancies himself a chance and taps his pre aim. Oh, so perfect. And that's what I mean. That's a play that Complexity run all the time. Yeah. He just pre aims it, and Sataris has caught one through the smoke. Do we get another? A Blame and JKS 2v5 with weapons this time? They're in a similar position. This time he's got ramp control, which does mean the CTs will be slightly more strung out. Ooh, okay. Very much has to be a big plan round if they want to stay competitive here. They've already done a lot of the heavy lifting. This is a hard fight. You can see Blame in this position on the first half. Tabs in here with the silence down four. Unless this is hard cleared, it will just be a shot in the back. Blame's other option. Oh my God, uh? he's been tagged through the wall. All right, well, JK is down to 37. He has to watch the flank as well. But if Blame... Oh, he's going back towards lobby. I was going to say they could get across secret and go down lower. That could cut off the rotations and they could push into the site as a unit. But here they're pairing up. They're trying to use numbers. And right now on the top side, it will just be one player. That is Keto. He's tucked in towards the CT van. A player now just up heaven. Tizian bolstering the defense. And now that they're spotted, there's a frag. Still 40 seconds to work with. No rush for complexity here. Do you want to go vents or? Yeah, they did. Tabson's managed to catch one crossing. Blame does win the duel. Now there's a threat of Tabson's line being held. With the bomb retrieved, there's a gap here. Searson coming from ramp. Blame. He's actually going. Both rotated lower. Here. They thought it was vent. Yeah. And now Blame's got room to move, room to relocate after the bomb plan. Looking to turn it around. Searson and Tabson. Susan's opted for heaven. Bomb's planted for blame. He'll be able to swing out Squeaky if he wins this duel onto Tabson, and that's the first step. Smoked off, but he hits the shot. Tabson a bit premature. No kit. no kit, but he's making the steps. Fakes him off it. Blame's called the bluff. Holds the push. Searson losing this round with every second that transpires. Blame with the clutch. A huge clutch at that. Searson's it. not got the time. He's just got to save the orb. Blame, what a brilliant round. Bails them out of trouble. You could see the small gaps, the cracks exploited by the complexity roster. That was supposed that was Big Clan's round any day of the week. And it started with such a great multi-kill. Look at the pre-aim. Big Clan have let that one slip away. All right. Well, now complexity really in the driver's seat. The fact that they've walked away with two of those rounds. Two of those rounds where Big have done a great job making it costly, making it expensive, doing all the right things. They've just been whittled out of this game. They will be able to invest again. Tizian's down to an SMG. The AWP obviously still in play. Utility good, but Complexity have robbed them of a couple here. Big have only got six rounds to their name. They're really at the back foot here. Now it's going to be the four-man yard walk. See the bomb on the back of config there. Just dealing with the lobby push will be JKS again. These smokes have a timer on them. We'll be fading momentarily. They need to get a move on now. The orb shots help shroud their footsteps. Some of that would have been heard. And Zentaris has already rotated lower, but he needs to get a couple of kills here. There's nobody close enough to rotate right now as they go for lobby info. JKS pushed up. He's going to find himself at least one. There is a big threat from Ramp as well. He knows it's a possibility. JKS is being hunted by a whole team and he's dealing with it. The CTs want to get lower. JKS has made it so hard, but Tabson returns with a colossal double. Searson thrown into a 1v2. Strap in. This could be a quick flick to get the party started. And that's Config's bomb retrieval. Dropped right in the middle of the site. Tabson made short work of him. Flames opted for Dark. Searson can silently retrieve this. He's going for the quick scope onto Dark. Okay, Blame was ready. A double for both JKS and Blame. Both of them are having quite the T half. And 27 for the Danish in game leader. A lot of people using him as a prime example for a fragging in game leader. Yeah, earlier. I think you're getting a prime example of that today. Loved what JKS was doing. Four players here. were trying to deal with JKS at this juncture. You had Sirison from Ramp, the two pushing lobby. There was even a fourth man coming over while Tabson was going for this kind of impact. But one of the things here that I want to note is that JKS and Blame F 
they're not really playing off each other crazy in these clutches. They're both individuals who have had clutch roles on teams, so they just go slow and take the jewels as they would. So as long as one of them parks the bus while yeah. the other does some work, they're going to be able to uh, be quite the pungent duo. This and trying to take a near impossible duel. Config does not overextend for that. He knows the round will be won one way or the other. Or at least it's certainly supposed to be, set to be. 14 now for complexity. This is a stark contrast to the last few head-to-heads. We haven't seen a convincing map win to complexity in some time. Overtime losses, 16-11, 16-14. It's all been big plan. One-way traffic. Collar changing that here. And in the playoffs, no less. 28 frags. He's on the way to the 30. Yeah, really taking their time with most of these rounds here, complexity, waiting out the early aggression, dealing with any early utility, and then just working as a pack. This boost could unravel a couple. Zantara's with the Deagle, always a deadly combat, but he's just dropped off at the wrong time. Is it? Or is he just going to get the belly button shots? He does just find the one. Searson perhaps can finish what his teammate started. The P250 does connect, but Config gets to live with 7 HP. Keto's got an armored AK, and well, he's lost his teammate now. He's lost it all, Blame. There's the 30. Finding 30 in the 21st round of play. That ain't too shabby. And well, we may not see that much more. It is already plenty of map points. Series, Big Clan's pick, and Kol have come out of the gate swinging. Overpass up next. It is a different map for complexity to be, to be choosing. And we did hear from Keita they were trying something different in the video because of the tough time that they tend to have with Big. But this is just absolutely phenomenal stuff here from Blame. Controlling that rotation, getting the opening kill towards Yard, opening and closing rounds at this moment. And now they're punishing. It's a hard top. It looks like lots of utility. Feel like a hard top. That's actually the Big Clan Molotov. Taste their own medicine. No one's there to be punished by it. Keto burning. Rush is actually still in the sight and loads a whole mag while flashed into CT Ven. At least he can call it clear. Config does what Config hasn't done too much yet here on the T side, which is crack open a sight. Resmoking main does lock Searson out even more so. And Tarez, oops, oh, did not want to lose that HP. Now looking a bit flustered. Just Tarez and he meets JKS. That's a very quick map. Cole taking Big Clan's pick away from them with a stick.